Helsingfors Air border can now test twice as many human swab samples as during the pandemic. The new home team lab at Changi Air Freight Centre is designed as the first line of clinical testing support for future outbreaks. Noah Kong with this report. Singapore's network of chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear and explosives or CBRNE labs has a new fourth edition. Such labs were critical during the COVID-19 pandemic. They tested human swabs and wastewater samples. But back then, every sample was manually labelled one by one on paper. Those labs also had to be retrofitted on the fly to test for the virus. The problem that we were experiencing during COVID was uh, we have to uh, look after the border screening as well as conduct the COVID, human COVID uh, swab testing. We actually move our labs to a mobile operations in order and give space to, for the COVID samples. So this facility address uh, this shortcoming uh, whereby actually two labs can now operate without it being in conflict. The Home Team Science and Technology Agency took those lessons and applied them to this purpose-built lab inside the Changi Air Freight Centre. If and when the next outbreak happens, the lab can switch into pandemic testing mode within about 48 to 72 hours. Now scientists here in HTX's new lab are working with a new and protective gear which they use when working with risky samples of pathogens. Now it feels like there's an air conditioner in here because the suit filters the air that comes in, keeping scientists safe and comfortable during the long days at the lab. Now that's critical when this lab kicks into action, like during a pandemic, such as during COVID-19, when the scientists would spend long hours in the day of up to 12 hours every time, working with human swab samples just like this. Much of the workflow is digital and automated, from tracking samples to extracting DNA and mixing them. Processing time is cut by about a third, and at least double the number of human samples can be handled at once. On a normal day, scientists here focus on cargo screening and research. Swap samples from air cargo are tested for chemical, explosive and other forms of threats, up to 10 times faster than before. The development of such tools could eventually be rolled out to Singapore's checkpoints. Like this small portable device, it detects a wide range of chemicals, including controlled drugs such as etomidate, within seconds. Ongoing research also monitors the air for hazardous gases and studies the microbial patterns in common areas of the nation's checkpoints to detect unknown mutated pathogens. Launching the lab, Coordinating Minister for National Security K. Shanmugam said the facility reflects how threats are evolving and how Singapore is responding. HTX worked with vendors, uh, suppliers customized uh, a lot of the equipment that you see. And a lot of the equipment you see is also uh, conceptualized by HTX itself. So it's uh, part of the way the home team, the entire Ministry of Home Affairs, the home team is uh, transforming by you bringing te technology, keeping our borders safe. HTX says these capabilities are aimed at understanding and responding more decisively to unknown threats that may arrive at Singapore's borders.